We're in New York City and we're at a sold out show, Surf Curse. We're gonna go inside and check it out. What is up, you guys? Um, I am here with Surf Curse in their green room. This is a casting couch, just thought you should know. Who are you guys in the band? Who's you? Uh, I'm Jacob Rubeck. Nick Radigan. My name's Noah Cole. My name is Henry Dillon. Henry Dillon. Okay, cool. I want to know, like, what is it like to be in your band? A lot of yeah, tummy a, aches, a emotional lot. roller coaster. Yeah, it's an emotional roller coaster, absolutely. Who's the annoying one? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're annoying. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about how the project started. It started like a what band in high school for like a second, and then it turned into a full on band when we were uh, 19. We lived together and we're like, I can't be in a band with you. And then we, I, we, I moved out and then I was like, I can be in a band with you. And then, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we were, uh, Tensions were high when we were living together because yeah. I never did my dishes. As soon as we like parted ways from as roommates, we became bandmates, and so we were working on songs in a basement in Reno for a good few yeah, years. Few years, <laughs> and then yeah, and then we both moved to LA, and then started getting like actually like actual work for the band. My shoes are falling apart. Oh my god. Yeah, let's get a really zoom in on those are. shoes. Wow, look at this fashion. <laughs> what what, what happened you? here? Uh, wa dude, I walk hard. Yeah. You know how it goes. Yeah. You know what else you do? It. Rock hard. I rock hard and I walk, walk hard. Rock hard, rock hard. What are your guys' inspirations? I know you guys were inspired by, was it the Rolling Stones for the new record? Yeah, Rolling Stones, yeah. Dinosaur Jr., Sonic Youth, Weezer. Breeders, I think, like a lot I, of 90s stuff. I think and... one thing to say though is that we just all absolutely love music. So. Mm. Every Sonic, everything, I don't know. I would say even visual stuff is also like an inspiration, especially for, I'm Injury, inspired yeah. by um, uh, stained glass in churches. That's right. There's a lot of like colors in your guys' visuals, which is really cool. Yeah. How important and involved in the visual aspect of the project are you guys? Um, um, pretty much full, pretty much 110%. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've always directed all the videos. Mostly Nick has directed like, the majority of the videos. Nick's also a stylist. He's the stylist for the band. So everything you see us wearing. <laughs> really? By yeah. Style by Nick. And sometimes you'll like grab something and he'll you'll be in a store and he'll he's put like, it on nice. and he'll look at you and he'll go. And yeah. then when it's good, he's like, it's good. Yeah, I don't give much praise yeah. for the clothes, but yeah. I do style all the boys. Yeah. Nick always does the costume makeup for us and he's by far the best at doing that. I am the best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Freaks, because that was a big moment for this project. Absolutely. And how has all of your lives changed since that song? And I mean, even the new album is just like... I mean, yeah, that album. kind of exists out of uh, Freaks. Mm -hmm. Like, getting a record deal and going to Electric Lady and getting all these opportunities all came because Freaks blew up on TikTok. I could say that my life has drastically changed. I got yeah. to buy a new radiator for my car. <laughs> It's awesome. Absolutely. Traveled the world. Like, yeah. It's a really good time for alternative rock and indie music in general. Totally. And totally. you guys are definitely on that wave. Yeah. It's really, I honestly am blown away every day that all these people show up to see a band that has like, it's like a rock guitar band. Like it, I never thought that would happen. It's wild. It's it, so cool. It always comes in waves, but luckily, yeah. like we're we're on the on that wave <laughs> right now. We feel very fortunate. Yeah. Just wait. Just wait. We're the wave crashes <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the new metal. The new metal. Uh, well, I was talking to Henry. Voice. Henry was talking about buying a stand-up bass, and I was thinking about getting a fiddle. And I think you should get a little washboard, yeah. and Jacob should get a banjo. And our next record should be a. Uh, a banjo. Oh, a, a, punk record. Record. a punk record. <laughs> a punk record. <laughs> punk record. <laughs> when you guys sit down and write, what does that look like? Is it all four of you? Or how does the writing process happen? One of us will bring a song and then we just kind of show it off and then play it out. And, and uh, like a lot of the new stuff it was like that where we'd bring stuff and then everyone would just kind of like join in and be like, oh, that works, that works. And then we'd feed off of each other. Yeah. And um, it's a really great way to work. 
Has it ever like been a time when someone brought in a song and then you guys are just like, nah, like that's a dub? Yes. Yeah. There has been that, but we it's get always a about big fight. <laughs> yeah. No, it's always about well, it's like it's like <laughs> yeah. what's great. What what's great about that is you. It's a challenge because yeah. there are times where it, it if it might not work, it's like well, what what is like the appeal of it, or like how do you get to from point A to point B? Because yeah. because it's good to be like okay, we're gonna let well. I don't know if this is it yet, but like, let's work on it. Like the first time yeah. I ever heard "Self Portrait," I was like, "This song is crazy." I don't know if we can yeah. do this. Yeah. And then the more that we worked on it, the more I was like, "This is amazing." You always have to pitch it the right way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, like Jacob has a bunch of songs that he has not pitched us yet that I'm going to pitch you, and we're They're like, like we're kind yeah, of waiting like, yeah. for. Jacob it. does this. You do this thing where like it, it, you'll like have all these songs <laughs> and you wait for the right moment to show it to us. Yeah. yeah. And it's pretty, pretty crazy. I was also thinking yeah. about uh, what uh, our producer for uh, the Magic Hour record would say, Chris Cody, when we were struggling or uh, having some difficulty, that there's always a, a mountain, the top of the mountain you got to get, get over, you got to climb over that hill. And uh, I feel like with songwriting, I don't know, you got to also get over that hill. No, exactly. Everything has potential. That's what I say. Yeah, that's true. Jacob's the most optimistic out of all of us, I feel like. Writing songs is fun. <laughs> Writing songs is supposed to be fun. Well, if something doesn't click immediately, too, it kind of forces you to widen your scope of analysis of, like, what you're trying to accomplish through the songwriting process, you know? So, like, you can always, yeah, finagle something to be more, like, something you're interested in. I also think it's cool, too, you know, like, there's there's the, the part of the songwriting process is, like, this person has an idea and then they like bring it to like the band or whoever. And then it's like this like beautiful collaborated process that happens because other people can think of things that you probably won't even think of in terms of hearing stuff because it's how you hear it and then it's how everybody else hears it. And then when it comes together, it's like this like uh, little baby. The unified vision. <laughs> baby. So you guys are about to play a sold out show. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. correct. Yeah. Are you nervous? No, no, no. no I do get fun. like, I do get like just anxious during this time though, in between sound check and playing the show. It's not about the show at all. It's just like, there's nothing to do. You can't fiddle you, your you, hands. You, you know, yeah, hand. you're kind of just yeah. sitting there twiddling your thumbs or like, chips. I like kind of, I eat chips. I pace the green room. I yeah. like I'm walk around. Some dinner, yeah, dinner is a good thing to yeah. pass the time. This is, this is like my least favorite time. Yeah, it's really playing the show that Makes Makes it, yeah, and then so you play the show and it, it all like it all amazing. like flows out, you know. Do you guys think you'll ever become jaded or is this like is it new every single time you go on stage? Dude, I'm already jaded. I think it's it's happened already in a in a short fuse and it's kind of gone now. Yeah, it comes and goes. Depends on the day. Yeah, it depends on the day. Uh mm. I feel every I feel day I'm like I, like especially post I know it sucks to say but like post pandemic it's like it's like you really can look at what you have and and be like I'm glad that I can do what I want to do and I'm happy to be able to share my songs with people because the fear of like not having that is just like such a dreading bummer on the mind I think there's always something that like jolts me back to life like if I'm feel you know there's it's a spectrum of of jadedness because just like this is our career you know it's like any any job or something but there's always like a show or a song or a moment that makes it like all come back to life again and then you kind of you tap into that thing that makes music important but sometimes you can get drowned in the bullshit yeah of life what can we expect from surf curse in the near future yeah we're playing a couple uh festivals next year uh we're Vera. Primavera Sound, Madrid, Shaky Knees, Knees Tree Fort. Is that announced? It's announced now. Um, <laughs> and we're just be working on new music. Hopefully, more new songs soon. More new songs. Soon. Yeah, and Henry's got an audio book coming out. Actually, really? yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are you guys doing solo, like solo wise? Oh, Henry. Um, not much. Do you want to no, tell us about your audio book? It's in development. I, uh, it's it's, it's, it's kind of like a metaphysical. Uh, honestly, in, it's really, spoiled. I'm it's really spoiled. pissed. Oh, yeah. okay. that you He's in a stinky mood. I, I'm <laughs> really pissed. He's in a stinky mood. I'm gonna take the mic over here. Hey, 
Guys, guys, it's okay. I've got a new record that I'm finishing up, Current Joy's record, uh, that will come out next year. Um, yep. It's awesome. It's an Irish folk record. It um, is. I'm currently adding uh, this like spoken word story about a, a, a child speaking to his grandfather throughout the record. Jacob? It's just writing songs. That's it. Jacob writes about 10 songs a day. I'm going to be recording uh, my next solo-ish record in a couple oh, of weeks. It it's a fish cover it's record. A, well, I, my band's called Color Green, and uh, it's going to sound like um, a Moog synthesizer. It's going to sound like that, but with guitars. And oh, metaphysical. Yeah. And it's going to sound like... Well, and then the funny thing about that record is it's going to... Me and Henry are going to do this thing where his metaphysical audiobook is going to sync up with my record as well. And then we're going to release it as a double package laser dick with Henry projections. Laser dick. Laser, dick. <laughs> laser disc. <laughs> Demi, what are you up to? What can we expect from you in the next year? Tons of stuff. <laughs> You'll find out. Um, why? That's put me on the spot. Hey, we're put on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Surf Curse. Woo!